what's up everybody? Welcome to another episode of Views for Build. This is an FJ episode. We're inside the FJ right now. Uh, in this episode, wheels and tires. Got new ones of both of those. Got to get the tires put on the wheels, then those on the car. And we're going to install a three inch lift kit provided to us by Rough Country. And then at the end of the episode, a giveaway. Stay tuned. I remember the last time we got tires put on wheels it cost us well over a hundred bucks and I was pretty frustrated with that just too much money to do that wheels tires and balancing so gonna try a different alternative I know of a place that's kind of deep in the hood in Portland that I've used before uh, when I was on the hashtag B is for broke train so I'm heading back I really like the people uh, they ain't fancy but they're my kind of people so we're heading there and see if we can get these tires put on these wheels this is the kind of place I'm talking about. Looks busy. Sometimes going the cheap route is just so much better. I love their approach to stuff. No bullshit, no frills, no nothing. Just get down to work and get it done. That's, that's very much my style. You know you're at a cheap tire shop when they're actually advertising the Chinese brands. <laughs> but these guys are awesome. So uh, I'm running home. I could only fit one tire in here and all four uh, wheels. I'm running home. I'm going to go get the other three tires and go drop them off. I think the rate is, since they're not quite 35s, I think it's 15 bucks per wheel. That's pretty good. That's what I was looking for. So I'm stoked. Dude, tires weigh a lot. Boom! Wheels and tires are dropped off. They said give it an hour and come back, so that's good. In the meantime, since I am in the hood, I'm going to Popeyes. Alright, we got our wheels and tires in the back. We are on our way to the shop now. Uh, we're going to go ahead and install the lift kit first, I believe, and then we'll put on our bigger wheels and tires. Alright, so all the work on the FJ has to be done outside because the height of the car now is going to be taller than the shop entry. So we gotta do everything outside. I apologize, it is very, very windy today. We got a cold front coming in, which is gonna bring more snow. It's one of the reasons I really wanna get this project done today. Now onto some bad news. I went inside the shop to get the three inch lift kit and start looking at it and you know figuring out what I, how I was gonna install it and what I'm gonna do. And I unboxed it and it did not look much like a three inch lift kit. I called Rough Country. In fact, we had an issue and they accidentally sent the wrong box out and they sent me a six inch lift kit for a Chevy. So we're not gonna be doing the three inch lift kit today. Um, bit of a bummer, I, I, I know, and I apologize this episode might be a little bit shorter. I should have probably unboxed that stuff when I got it, but I didn't. So anyways, I'm gonna swap that out with Rough Country. We'll get the three inch kit here soon. I did some, uh, some browsing online. My wheels and tires should still fit on here with no rubbing. We might have to do a body mount chop or something like that. Um, and if we do, I'm happy to do that right now because I got a little bit of extra time. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do right now is bring those wheels and tires out. And I wanna talk a little bit about those tires. All right, so the tires we're running on this car are the Treadrite uh, Guard Dogs, the 285-70 R17. So don't quote me on this, but I think that means it's between a 33 inch and a 35 inch diameter tire, but I'm not 100% sure. As you guys will find out, I'm not a, not a tire expert. Anyways, Treadrite is the tire sponsor for the FJ Cruiser. I'm super happy to have them as a sponsor. I actually approached them a couple months ago because a viewer told me about Treadrite, said I should check them out, and that they're very interesting. And indeed, I, I, I really like the, their company and the way they do things. So I went onto their website. I was originally very interested because they had very affordable pricing for like mud train tires like these. And then um, I talked to their rep and I learned a little bit more about the company. And why I was, I was drawn in and that fan wrote me an email about them is, they have kind of what I would consider a very BS for build approach to tires. So what they do is they take a used premium tire like a Toyo or a Michelin or a Goodyear when it's, and then they strip it down to just this like inner belting or tubing thing. I don't know what it's called, but the very, very most inner thing, just very round. So it's a slick little round tube. And then they retread it. So these are retreaded tires. And that means that they're putting on their own tread back onto a recycled tire. Um, now, the, the rep told me that in Europe, they, they retread tires five or six times before they throw them away because the government forces you to. Um, here, it's kind of a novel idea, but I really, really like it. So the tread that they use, the rubber that they use that they compound onto this stuff is the same rubber that they use in NASCAR tires. So it's really premium rubber slapped on top of a recycled premium kind of inner tube. Um, and what you get out of that is a really, really affordable price and a cool looking tire. So I'm very excited. It, it just reminds me a lot of how we take 
busted up cars and we try and rebuild them and give them a second chance on life. It's kind of what they're doing here with tires. It's kind of, so I thought it was a really good fit. So I'm, I'm very stoked to try these out. Um, there was something else I had to say about tires, but I completely forgot. I remember the other thing I wanted to talk about was this thing called a Kedge Grip. And the Kedge Grip th is a special thing that they do over there. What they do is inside the rubber when they're retreading these things, they put tiny particles of, I think it's walnut shells and glass. And what that does is as you wear down the tire, those little particles, they fly off of the tire, leaving a very, very small hole in the rubber. And what that does is it's basically micro siphoning your tire. So it's, it's putting like more traction into that tire on a micro, micro level because those little pieces are going to fly off. They leave a little hole and it adds more grip. It's a really, really cool system. And that was something that I was very intrigued by. So I can't wait to try it out. Um, big thanks to Tread Right for this and these tires. I know you guys are wondering about the spare. We got the spare back home. That'll go on the car real soon. Um, and there is a link in the description to Tread Right Tires. If you guys are in the market for any type of tires, go down there, check out Tread Right. Big thanks to them. Okay, so now let's get these on the FJ. All right, small timeout from over there. Uh, moving inside the shop to do some mods real quick. So the last thing you might have seen there was I was spray painting that hub uh, black. It was already black. I was spray painting a little bit more. That's just like a hub cap. Um, not the type of hub cap that it's a smaller hub cap. Anyways, um, the center caps for those wheels, I'm not really digging them. I don't really like them. They're, they're really big. They stick out too far and they're like full of branding and that's not really my deal, right? So um, what I'm doing is I'm not running with the center caps. So I'm spraying that inner hub um, small cap black, satin black. And then the other thing I'm modding is my um, lug nuts. The company sent chrome lug nuts and it's gonna look weird with a nice black wheel and black tire and chrome lug nuts. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna, um, I'm gonna try something I haven't done. I don't think it's gonna work super great, but I wanna give it a try and just see what happens because if, if not, then these are just going in the trash. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna scuff up this chrome lug nut, all of them actually. Um, it's kind of a lot of them. It's like six times four, there's 24 of these guys. I'm gonna scuff them all up with some sandpaper and then I'm gonna spray them with some satin black and try and get a nice little coat of paint to stick onto them. The problem is probably the paint won't stick onto them and then obviously once I hit them with the socket wrench, it's gonna chip some paint off. But my hope is that mostly that they will stay black especially until I can order some black lug nuts. I'll probably just place an order real soon here for black lug nuts. M12, 1.5, yeah, I don't have any of these yet. So um, that's the plan. I'm gonna mod these, make them black, hubs black, then the wheel goes on. All right, that's our DIY set of black lug nuts. Uh, time will really be the factor on telling if this was a good DIY or not, but uh, they're black and they'll be black for a while. I just don't know how long that stuff will stay on there. Check this out, one second. While we were working inside, this branch fell off the tree. That big probably wouldn't have hurt too bad, but things are getting a little sketchy out here. Okay, we ran into one small problem with clearance. It's not too big of a problem, but here's what happened. So when the wheel uh, is turning to the left, bringing this part of the tire in, it's rubbing on this spot right here. And uh, to avoid that, we need to do what's called a body mount chop. That's what the uh, FJ guys call it. So you have your frame right here. This is the body right here. And that bolt is how the body is bolted to the frame. And basically this part just sticks out a lot more than you need. So what a lot of these FJ guys do is they just take a reciprocating saw and they come in here and just chop that off. So that's what's called a body mount chop and it gains you some uh, clearance in the wheels. We do similar stuff in, with import cars sometimes like on one of the BRZs, we almost had to do it. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and pray that I have the right blade for the reciprocating saw and jump under here and chop this off. I'm just gonna get a nice clean line from this outer point because we'd be rubbing on that anyways, back to back here. And you gotta make sure not to go too far so you don't actually affect the mounting point or the mounting bracket of it or the structural integrity. So we're just kind of trimming off a little bit right about here. All right. 
right, so you can now see with that little bit cut off, how it just gets you that extra half an inch, well, that's probably a whole inch of added clearance. It lets us have our tire rotate all the way back like it's supposed to be able to. Full turning radius. If I wanted to be a, on top of my A game, what I would do is cut a little piece of metal out right here and weld it in here. Uh, but since it's nearly freezing outside, add in wind chill, it's way under freezing and shit's falling from the sky, I'm just gonna leave that as it is for now. Maybe when we install the lift kit, that's when I'll cap those off. All right, the driver's side front is now wrapped up. So while that's all fresh in my mind, the body chop and the angle is all fresh in my mind, I'm gonna jump over to the passenger side and wrap up the passenger front off camera because it's the exact same thing as what we just did here. And then we'll come back and get over onto the back side. All right, the front is done. You did that side. And then here we have this side. And I did the body mount chop and I did the weld. Um, just because when I had the wheel off, I had so much more space. I just felt like doing it while I was right there. So chopped, welded in the plate. Obviously we have this mismatched fender and no uh, fender flare there. I got some aftermarket fender flares I'm gonna do a whole install on later. But uh, that's the front done and now we're gonna move over to the back. As far as I know there's no, nothing special to the back. It's just gonna be a kind of standard uh, wheel install. All right, we got all four wheels and tires on the car, and it's looking great. I'm very, very excited with how that turned out. There's a little bit of leftover damage right here, so you might have seen in the video, I kind of had to just push that out a little bit. Once we do our, our, our newer fender flares, they're gonna go up higher and give us more room there anyways. So that's a little close, but also the vehicle is uh, parked on a slant. Uh, by the way, don't work on your car on a slant. That's a bad idea, but anyway, so that side's a little bit lower than what you're gonna see over here on this side. You can see there's obviously much more uh, clearance over here and so that's what the centers look like on the back not bad I like it it's better than the center caps with a bunch of advertising on them I don't like those it's not really my style so it's looking good I'm very happy about that I think it's time let's take it out for a test drive and see how it performs all right that's a wrap on our wheels tires and body mount chop sorry we didn't get that three inch lift in there but i did mention a giveaway um rough country sent me out a bunch of shirts in all different sizes and different designs and they sent me to be honest too many so i wanted to give some away to you guys i have different sizes uh different colors different designs and all you got to do to get entered to win one of these is like this video on youtube and go to the instagram post where i mention this episode coming out every day I, every time we're going to release an episode i say yeah you know in tonight's episode blah 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 go and like that post and that'll get you entered if you win what i'm going to do is i'm going to pick people at random and then i will dm them and then i will ask you what's your uh screen name on youtube and if you've in fact liked both things then i will hook you up with the shirt that fits your size and if we still have different colors available i will let you choose that and i'll ship it out to you for free so uh th big thanks to rough country sorry we didn't get to install any of their stuff on the rig today um because of a little shipping error but they have been a really cool sponsor in the fact that they have been very patient with me and letting me take my time on the FJ and not bugging me to do, you know, when's the next episode? Some sponsors are really picky about that and they need their stuff out really quickly. Rough Country has been really cool, really chill and just like, let me take my time because taking the time to like, for instance, find Treadright and get a deal lined up where we can get those tires on sponsorship saves me a bunch of money. And as this is now my day job, uh, saving money is very important these days. So big thanks to Rough Country, big thanks to Treadright. I just got done test driving those tires and I'm very, very excited. I think they look great. And so far they've been handling really good on the road. And uh, so I'm stoked. I was able to actually even do a faster run on the way home when I got back on the freeway, or well, back to the shop and I uh, got up to 75 and everything was going great. Uh, no wobbles either. And I've heard that's an issue with really big off-road tires and I've got zero wobble, zero shake, no, no shuddering or anything like that. So I'm really happy. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Thanks for watching. If you uh, like Be Is For Build, you want to help out and support, head over to beisforbuild.com. Scroll down to the shop, pick yourself up a hat like this one or a key tag like this one. And all the proceeds of that go to helping us out on the channel. If you like us and you want to find us at more places, uh, check out, we are Be Is For Build on Instagram and we are Be Is For Build on Facebook. And that's about it, guys. Please remember to like and subscribe. Peace! <laughs>